we want to find the parametric equations for the graph of the ellipse in the form x of t equals a cosine t and y of t equals b sine t. To begin though, we'll write the Cartesian equation or rectangular equation for the ellipse in this form here. The first thing to recognize here is that we have a horizontal major axis and a vertical minor axis. Remember the major axis is always the longer axis. So again, because we have a horizontal major axis, A is greater than B, and this will be the form of our equation where the point H comma K will be the center, and notice how our center is the origin, zero comma zero. And now for a quick review, the length of the major axis is two A, or we can say the length from the center to one end point of the major axis is A, and the length of the minor axis is 2B, or we can say the length from the center to one end point of the minor axis is B. So looking at the major axis, notice how this means that A is equal to five, and B is equal to three. Again, we already noticed that the center, H comma K, is the origin. This is all we need in order to write the Cartesian equation. We'd have x squared divided by a squared, which would be x squared divided by five squared, or 25, plus y squared divided by b squared, which would be y squared divided by three squared, or nine, equals one. And now we need to find our equations for x of t and y of t. To do this, we'll use the trig identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. And since x of t has to be in the form of some constant times cosine t, notice how here, if we had x of t equals five cosine t, notice how x squared would be 25 cosine squared t, and the 25s would simplify out, leaving us with cosine squared t. And then looking at the second fraction, notice how y of t has to be in the form of a constant times sine t. So if we let y of t be equal to three sine t, notice that y squared would be nine sine squared t. The nines would simplify out, and therefore we'd have cosine squared t plus sine squared t equals one, which we know is true, and therefore these would be our parametric equations. Let's go ahead and show the work to check this. So we'll substitute five cosine t for x. So for this first fraction, we'd have five cosine t squared divided by 25 plus, now for the second fraction, we'd have y squared divided by nine or three sine t squared divided by nine equals one. So if we square five cosine t, we'd have 25 cosine squared t divided by 25, plus here we'd have nine sine squared t divided by nine equals one. And now if we simplify, 25 divided by 25 is one, nine divided by nine equals one. So we've just shown that our parametric equations are correct since cosine squared t plus sine squared t does equal one. So we have found our parametric equations, x of t and y of t correctly, but before we go, when we do find parametric equations, the graph is sketched out in a particular direction, which we call the orientation of the graph. So let's take a look at that before we go. Let's begin by finding the point on our ellipse when t equals zero. So x of zero would be equal to five cosine zero. Well, here's the graph of our cosine function. Cosine zero is equal to one. So the x coordinate would be five. And now for the y coordinate, y of zero would be equal to three sine zero. Here's the graph of our sine function. Sine zero is zero. So when t is zero, we would be at the point five zero on the ellipse, which should be this point here. Now let's find one more point. Let's find the x and y coordinates when t equals pi over two. X of pi over two 
would be equal to five cosine pi over two. Cosine pi over two is equal to zero. So the x coordinate would be zero. And then y of pi over two would be equal to three sine pi over two. Well, sine pi over two is equal to one, so the y coordinate is three. So notice when x is pi over two, we'd be at point zero three at this point here. So notice as t increases, the points will be plotted counterclockwise, and therefore using our parametric equations, we say the orientation would be in this direction here. So we can say as t increases, the ellipse is traced in this direction or has this orientation. I hope you found this helpful.